Bank in Antigua that is currently under investigation. She's currently in the federal courtroom behind me. They're discussing a variety of matters. It looks like this is going to be referred to a grand jury in Dallas. But will she walk out of here tonight? That's the question we're wondering right now. She spent last night in federal lockup. The judge has not decided on what he's going to want for bond, but uh, the government is asking the judge to... Handcuffed and visibly trembling, Laura Pendergast Holt was escorted by FBI special agents into court. There, she wept as the judge read the obstruction charge against her. FBI special Pendergast Holt was arrested yesterday at Stanford Financial Headquarters near the Galleria. FBI agent Walther testified that Pendergast Holt flew in from Mississippi to answer questions of the receiver who was handling the Stanford case for the SEC. But only after the receiver fronted her $10,000 for the trip as a result of the investigation. Pendergast Holt's attorney maintains her innocence. We are following the fallout from the first criminal charges as a result of the fraud investigation involving Stanford Financial Group. The company's chief investment officer was led into court in handcuffs this morning to answer to a charge of obstruction. She was treated just like everyone else who is in custody of federal authorities. As we've been reporting, she is accused of making several false statements under oath when she gave her testimony to the SEC when she was testifying about some discrepancies that they had found involving the Stanford Financial Group. According to the criminal complaint, one of those statements deals with the discrepancy in the value of certain assets in 2000. To failing to tell SEC investigators about a meeting she had with other Stanford officers in preparation for her February 10th SEC testimony. The criminal complaint also alleges that she lied about her knowledge of Stanford business. Inside the hearing, she wiped away tears. Her attorney says she knows nothing of the $8 billion fraud allegations. 